Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to share sketches 1 through 10 with you of my Inktober thus far, 2019. And yeah, they are all in this Plum Chester Square sketchbook. So let's get right into it. So this first guy, his first sketch was of a fairy circle. Of a fairy ring, excuse me. Um, the prompt for the first day, of, per the official prompt list, was ring. And I didn't really want to draw a ring, like a ring on your finger ring. I have one today, um, but I wanted to draw a fairy ring because when I was a kid I just really really loved the idea of being able to tell where fairies had been the night before. So the whole idea is like if a ring of mushrooms pops up, like a circle of mushrooms pops up one morning, the idea is that's where fairies have danced the night before. So I love that idea. So I drew these fairies with a ring of mushrooms around them growing up. I used the speedball nib holder and nib that came in the Inktober Art Snacks collection box, as well as the super black India ink that they provided. And I really enjoyed this. However, this paper is not made for this level of washes. So I ended up having to skip this page before I moved on to the next one. So this second prompt for day two was mindless. And this guy, he is so tired. He just, he just didn't know which, where he's supposed to drink his tea out of. So instead of drinking out of the coffee cup, excuse me, it's a tea cup, it's not a coffee cup, he's drinking tea. And um, instead of drinking out of the tea cup, he's drinking out of the tea kettle. Oops, <laughs> we've all been there. I've been there plenty of times. <laughs> so this guy, round three, was actually the first day I wasn't sure what I was gonna draw. I knew I was not going to draw a worm because I hate worms. Um, I should probably give you the prompt word. It was bait. So bait was this prompt word and I was thinking, okay, bait, fishing bait. I don't know how to draw a practical joke. So I guess I'm gonna go with the fishing bait one. So he is uh, working with this lure. Um, so, you know, fake fish, little like hooks on the end. And this is the first day I used the King Art brush pen in gray kind of get the water and the shading around the fish and a little bit on the guy too and you know the background anyway I used it this day for the first time and I enjoyed using it in very limited quantities like the washes I was doing the first day you cannot overdo it a lot on this paper a little bit of tone it's really good for day four the prompt was freeze and I was thinking oh like we could do a hard freeze like a hard frost so like okay this girl has woken up and she's walking outside and it's frosty it don't look like frost <laughs> this is, I don't know what this is. This is um, supposed to be grass with frost on the outside of it. And like, it's supposed to look cold and she's kind of coming from a warm interior out to the cold. But it's not what I want. We have our good days and we have our bad days. This was not one of the good days. <laughs> so this next prompt was build. So I decided to do these two people building a little flower garden around this one little flower. I think it's really a cute idea. Um, and my whole idea with Inktober this year is actually to go through and flesh out this world that's inside my head of these like little brownies that live, you know, in this world, what it would look like. I think this day I used a combination of the Copic pen as well as the dip pen that I got in the Inktober Art Snacks collection box. Um, <laughs> excuse me. When I was doing this, drawing, I made the decision that I was not going to record any more of my Inktober drawings. Up until this point I had been, and it was really, really stressing me out. So this was the first one that I separated the idea of having a fun drawing and having to produce a nice video. So I just don't have the time to edit 31 videos of drawings. There are people doing it. Like I will link them down below, like Blue Flynn, Aloria's Art. Like they are doing every day in Inktober. I give them so much respect because I um, I do not have the time. I don't know where they find the time. They must be like organized max. Um, but like for my personal well-being, I had to skip over this and just allow myself to enjoy the process of doing Inktober. I haven't actually completed Inktober before. So adding filming on top of Inktober was just way too much. The next day, Sunday, I did Husky, day six, and he's a little cutie. 
I really enjoyed this. I got more back into my groove and this actually took less than 30 minutes to draw. I started having no idea what I was going to do and then boom, I did this because I wasn't focusing on performing per video quality because that's kind of stressful and I'm new to it, but I like this. Um, it's very unlike any husky I know. I honestly only know one husky and she is not calm, contemplative, peaceful. She's very hyper and energetic and excited to see you. But I figured, my theory is, if they're like little fairies flying through the air, like little creatures that like glow, you know, a dog might look at them for a couple of seconds. And I'm sure other huskies might do it too. But for my little husky friend, this is outside her normal experience. So this next one was Enchanted. Now this one didn't quite turn out the way I was hoping it would. Um, it's fine, but I may also revisit this one just like Freeze at some other time. This is not getting revisited during October probably, but like in the future. So the idea I had with this was she's playing music and it's like so enchanting that the butterflies are like flying around her. Like it's almost to the point of having a musical quality to the music. Yeah, that's my Enchanted one. And the next one was Frail. I had an epiphany after I finished this one. In my previous attempts at October and a lot of the illustrations I do, I like to have a border around my work to kind of be like, this is the cute little thing, and like make sure that the composition is exactly the way I want it, and really draw the eye into the image. However, with this one, there is no border except for the border of the paper. And that's when I realized, oh wow, this is not anything like what I normally do. However, I do like these roses, and I feel very proud of myself that I got them to look rose-like. I'm not super convinced that she looks frail enough. Maybe she looks delicate, but frail is not what comes to mind when I'm looking at her. But anyway, I had fun doing this. Pause. When you think of Inktober, do you envision Inktober being in black and white, or do you envision it being black, white plus color, or do you envision it in color? Like, give me your thoughts on that, because I'm curious what everybody imagines when they think of Inktober. The next prompt was swing, and like swinging, like swing set. So. I decided to put these little characters on a swing set going back and forth. Um, just kind of enjoying life, carefree. That's kind of how I felt doing this. I'm just like, ha, ah, whew, I'm, I'm carefree, this is good. You know, I returned to the kind of border feeling to it. I put this, rec I made it a, you know, rectangle basically with the butterfly and the flowers and the pieces of grass shooting off of it. Did a little bit, left for a bit, did a little bit more, came back to it. And that was a really nice like flow be working in instead of just like, I have to get this done. Um, so it's, yeah, it's just a little sweet drawing. So, and then the final one is pattern. And I didn't really want to draw an actual pattern for this. Um, looking at this now, there's a pattern on his shirt and there's a pattern on a lot of the guy's shirts that I draw. So that could have just been my pattern, but when I was thinking about this and I wanted to flesh out this world more, is someone working on a sewing pattern. So this guy is cutting out fabric. He has his pattern down, he has him pinned, his pattern piece is pinned, and I'm not quite sure why I departed from the idea of a border. Like, I figured it out, I was incorporating it here, I figured out I needed it here, and on this one I actually had one, and that was like one of my favorites to do. So I'm not quite sure why I didn't put a border around pattern, but I didn't. Let me know if you have a favorite prompt, or even if you have a favorite prompt drawing that I did for this Inktober, and I will see you next time. Bye! People, <coughs> excuse me, I'm gonna check and see if that's recording still. <clears throat> Wonder of wonders, miracle of miracles, my camera didn't stop recording. The ink top ink I used the speedball pen at doing ink ink to sometimes I don't know. Bye.